it's Shal and Margie, and we're back. I know. We're still here <laughs> crafting through the crisis, y'all. Remember to wash your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> Ta-da! We got some paper towels. We got the paper towels because we're going to be getting wet today. I know. We have a super awesome craft to do yes, with y'all. we do. We know like here in Arkansas, we're going on two weeks of quarantine kind of where our yeah. kids have been home now for two weeks with no school and everyone's getting a little stir crazy. Everybody's going a little nuts. You got subtitles, guys. I'm not sure how we got Oh. 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 Fancy, I guess. It's going to... Wow. Wait, what was that? Dang, I can't remember. Okay, something subtitled on our <laughs> on uh, our podcast. podcast. It was your. <laughs> it was the funniest thing when I was reading the subtitles on YouTube. I can't remember. It was your name was really weird. And Kelsey's name. And Kelsey's name was like I don't remember what it okay, was. Okay, so YouTube subtitles got us our southern accents yes. were really thick. I guess <laughs> they and didn't it, like it. it <laughs> they didn't like it. <laughs> and so basically, like everything we said, it interpreted totally wrong. Yeah. And it, it would say something. It was really funny. You guys, if y'all don't haven't watched any of our podcast videos, you can. Check us out yeah. at Vinyl Verse on YouTube. I feel like we just got way off course. We did. We're not making any more right now. But. We're not recording any new episodes or verses of Vinyl Verse, but there's some really good information there on is. there. We share a lot of tips and tricks. So if you're into podcasts, it's probably something you should check out because it is still live yeah. on YouTube and You can find iTunes. it on Apple Podcasts. Yeah, so. iTunes. I so, know. like Margie said, we are still crafting through the crisis, <laughs> and we are still offering free shipping on $20 or more. We had a little bit of a glitch error on the website over the weekend, but if you contacted us and if we caught it, your shipping was refunded to you. I refunded a lot this morning. Miss <laughs> Margie here was working real hard this morning. And I morning. sent emails to everyone, so if we missed you, let us know. Yes. Carolyn and Crystal, say hi. Hey, Carolyn hi, and Carolyn. Crystal. Is it Carolyn Milton? I miss her so much. Yes. Uh, I miss you, Miss Carolyn. <laughs> we miss seeing all our locals. We really do. We miss everybody so much. So we're happy no. that you're on here talking yeah. with us. So we are really excited because today we're going to do something that Margie's actually never mm -hmm. done. So yeah, this will be a learning for me. And we're really excited to hear from you guys if you have ever hydro dipped something. So today we're actually hydro dipping canvases. Um, these were, Margie just ran to the store and got these. So it tell was them like about a 12 pack. A of eight by ten. of eight by tens, and it was like twelve dollars. Oh, so, so like a dollar a piece. Yeah, twelve so, or thirteen. It was really cheap. Awesome. So, so and Walmart's still open in Arkansas. And I practice so social distancing. <laughs> I self checked out and didn't touch anything or anybody. Good, 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 good. <laughs> we like to hear that. Okay, and so we are going to be hydro dipping these canvases whilst using our or a mask eight thirteen. Or a mask is a stencil vinyl that we sell here at my craft source. And you can get it in 12 by 12, 12 by 24, 12 by 5 feet, 5 yard, and 10 yard. It comes in a lot of different sizes, but they're all 12 inches in width. Mm -hmm. And they range from 78 cents a sheet to $46 for the big 10 yard. So, yeah. I mean, a 5 foot roll is was only three ninety, and for yeah. this project, we only used one twelve by twelve. Yeah, so and seventy eight cents, guys. The Aura Mask stencil is great because if you're using um, mm -hmm. six fifty one, it doesn't always remove cleanly from your projects. Yes. If you're yeah. doing like a paint on paint, mm -hmm. it can remove the paint. So this is yes. great because it has just enough tack to stick where you want it to and to remove easily when you're done with it. Yes, absolutely. And today, if you're using something like canvas that's a little more of a coarse texture and you need something a little bit more stickier than what the stencil vinyl allows, we're going to show you today how you can make it more sticky with Tack It Over and Over, yes. which is 515 on the website. And this bottle lasts you a while. You can use it to so. re stick your mats to do glitter projects y'all yes. know we use it a lot in our Facebook lives. we really do we love tack it so it's really awesome so let's go ahead and get started so yes. Corbin can you go overhead so we can show them our cute little pictures we're gonna be using and today we fixed our overhead camera Yay! so it's no longer reversing which uh, one I'll do, use this one. Want that one. Just, yeah. So we, since it, we just wanted to do a tropical. Ryan says hello. Hey. Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So you can see how easy this weaves. Yes, and so I do want to mention too that the stenciling vinyl is a little bit transparent. Corbin, can they see that at all? Okay, so the stencil vinyl is somewhat transparent, which is really nice because it allows you to line things up evenly if you're trying to get good even lines. And you can see if anything is seeping underneath it, which is really important you when you're stenciling. Want yeah, you don't want anything to seep. Oh. So let's see. Oh, I'm just start on the floor. We clean up after y'all. We're not on live anymore. Yes. So. so I'm gonna pull out the centers of my little turtle shell, and as you can see, we have a seahorse, a seashell. Can you can you tell the theme, guys? Can you tell the theme? Palm trees, and then our cute sea turtle. And our little sea turtle. We're gonna be doing four canvases, hydro dip, and we just decided to go with a tropical theme. Yes. It is tropical. We wish we could go to the tropics right now. We really do. We are pretending that we're on vacation. No one can go on vacation right now. <laughs> Everyone's stuck at home. Not which to is remind okay. you. Not to remind you or anything, because you already know this. But. You know. So has anybody commented and told us that they hydro dipped anything? Uh, no, not yet. No hydro Okay, dip. so if you're just now joining us, we are still crafting through the crisis. We've had a lot of responses from a lot of our regulars who watch us, and they're like, why haven't you guys been on crafting? <laughs> Everybody's gotten kind of nervous, I think, thinking that we're closed, but yes. we're still open. We're, open. we're still shipping and processing orders. Um, today it was lightning speed. Oh, my gosh. We had <laughs> so many orders this morning, y'all. We really did. It was Here, crazy. I'll let you do those. Okay. We are using our AT65 transfer tape. Yes, this is a huge roll. It's 50 yards, right? It's 100 yards. Oh, it's 100 yards. My it's bad. 100 yards. This will last y'all forever. We've talked about it a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll hold it for you. Thank you. You can reuse um, your, your pieces. pieces. We just need one for the starfish. Monique said that she tried it once, but she just made nothing but a mess. Oh, uh, well, Monique, we will see if we make a mess or if it is successful. Shyla hydro dips all the time with her, um, <laughs> <laughs> you did the same thing I did. That's why I used it on the square ones. Here, look, we can use this piece. Just put it on and we'll use another piece. Oh, like double it? Yeah. Lynn said that she's hydro dipped before. Oh, what are you guys hydro dipping? Are y'all doing tumblers? Have you done canvases before? I've done canvases with adhesive before. I know some people will heat press their canvases. Yes. So these are some of our two squeegees that we have. Our yellow squeegee or Shiloh's using our Caesar squeegee. Caesar. Caesar squeegee. Our Caesar squeegee. Oh my gosh. Are, are you able to see the subtitles, Corbin? Yeah. Oh, what did it did could you not read it fast enough when we said it? Like what it say what it said? I'm curious to see what that is. Oh, this is delayed. Oh, it's delayed. okay, okay. When it comes to it, I bet that'll be a crazy word. I'll okay, be, now do we need to put the tacket on before yes. we put it on the canvas? So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to flip over our decal like so to where the sticky side is up. And we're gonna brush some tacket over and over onto it. Corbin, you might wanna go overhead for this so they can see exactly what we're doing. And we will just lay all these out here so it's easy and fast. Are they able to see all four of these? Okay, good deal. All right. Okay, so now they're all facing a sticky side up Sticky side up, guys. Sticky side up. That's the key. Yes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of generally put some on there. Even on the transfer tape. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it's not. I'm learning something new too, guys. Yes. So even on the transfer tape, it's not going to hurt anything. And we will have to wait for this to dry just a hair bit. Okay. I think we have some new people on, guys. we got about 100 people on. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Hi. everybody. Yeah. So I'm going to recap. We are crafting through the crisis. We are still offering free shipping for $20 orders until further notice. So it's a great way. If you're new to my craft source, it's a great way to try us out and see if you love how fast we get you your items. We got like a ton of orders shipped out this morning, so yes. it was awesome. We were all working we got, so fast. We got lots of steps in. Yeah. So, but we are doing hydro dipping with Orcal 6 
or or, or a mask, 813, y'all. <laughs> this is our stencil vinyl. It's our stencil vinyl. And it's amazing. And we're just using Tack It to add extra stickiness to it because of the canvas. Sometimes, um, you know, the canvas has it's a hard a time It's a rough dripping. texture, mm -hmm. and you really don't want to have any seeping underneath. So what I'm going to actually do before it dries completely is I'm going to go ahead and put them in place, and that's going to help the, um, the stencil itself adhere oh. to the Give canvas. Give it a good edge. Yes. So while it's drying, it's going to dry onto the squeegee, the canvas. Actually, I'm just going to hand rub it because I want to make sure I get really good okay. on the areas that it needs to stick. Yeah. Um. And feel free to comment with any questions, you guys. If you're new, say hi. We love to give shout I know. out. Let we us actually know. do have a newbie that just commented. Don't oh, get fine. mad if I butcher her name, but I think it's Porsche. And Porsche. Porsche. Hey, Porsche. Where are you joining <laughs> us from? Yes, let us know where you're from. We love to hear from everyone. All right. So should I let it dry for a little bit before I press it on, or you think it's okay? It's to okay. Press it on? It's okay because I mean it's gonna like dry onto the canvas, so to speak. Okay. Uh, Jamie asks, are you leaving orders orders out anywhere for local pick, or are you just shipping everything? We are, <laughs> I'll answer you, that. Yeah, you see. So we are offering kind of curbside right now. Um, we would really prefer everybody to take advantage of the free shipping, not to protect just us, but to protect you as well. We understand that some of you need your stuff in a hurry, and if you're local, it's very convenient. Um, so if you wanted to place your order for local pickup, you would just call us when you get here, and we bring it out to you in the parking lot. We are. But our lobby is closed, and we do not accept cash right now. Yeah. So it's all online. So we, Danielle and Jennifer are both newbies, and they say hi. Hey, hi. Danielle and Jennifer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Margie and Shyla. If in case y'all didn't know, yes. we are here to give you some crafting inspiration so you don't go crazy <laughs> during this um, coronavirus We don't time. want anybody going crazy. No, I have a friend who she's got four kids, and every day she takes a classical painting, and she recreates it with her kids and posts it. Wow. It's oh, hilarious. Yeah. So, That's actually really cool. I know. I, I love it because she's like, well, I'm teaching my kids art and we're recreating these fun paintings. Yeah. So do you want the squeegee to... I'm just seeing where we're at right now. Like how seeing well how it's sticking. sticking. Yeah, we might want to give it a little bit more dry time. Well, and sometimes when I do canvases, I'll turn them upside down like yeah, this. For sure. Just to help. Deanna from California and Gwen from Louisiana all say hi. Hey, hi. Deanna and Gwen. Gwen, are you Gwen Pogue? Are you the Gwen that I know? <laughs> Is it Gwen Pogue? I know one Gwen from Louisiana. That's why I ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you are curious on what Margie's doing right now, we are adding some stick to our Aura Mask stencil vinyl with Tack It over and over, which is $5.15 a bottle on the website. Um, and it really helps to restick your mats. You can use it, it's a repositionable adhesive, is what it is. Mm -hmm. So you can use it as a temporary stick or you can use it as um, a permanent stick if you're going to leave it on something. But right yeah. now, we are actually going to be removing the stencil vinyl from the canvas after we hydro dip it. So we're actually going to be using it in kind of the repositionable way where yeah. we want it to actually stay put for just the time being. Has anybody, right. since we have new people on, has anyone hydro dipped anything? That was our big question. Yes. Today we are hydro dipping. This is Margie's first time. So we're just curious, has anybody else hydro dipped anything? I'm very excited to try it because I love the effects that it gives. It's almost like a marbling technique. It's really cool. So. I'm going to go overhead, guys. And okay. I think it would be cool to uh, show them the tips that y'all are doing like real close to the camera. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys, so I like to use um, my squeegee when I'm weeding. I rubbed it on the back of the canvas. Vinyl does not like to stick to canvases, so you no. just have to make it work, and that is why. Typically, you would heat press onto yes, canvas. Yes, which you can do that. We'll have to do that sometime because mm -hmm. I haven't done that yet. So, but you just can use your squeegee. There's another one there if you need it, shall oh, I? good. I am Shyla doesn't need the squeegee. I, I like, like to it. wing things. And I like to do it at an angle. I feel like when I'm pulling the transfer tape off, it does better when I angle it. 
I don't know if it really does, but I feel like it does. So <laughs> she said, I feel like it. That's what I do. And then I'm just using my hands to rub down my aura mask yes. to help it stay in place. And Margie's using squeegee method. I'm just using my hand method. So like as I pull up, and you guys, you're gonna pull your, your transfer tape away as close to the aura mask as you can. Yes. You're then, not gonna pull up and away because then it definitely will come up with it. Yeah, and then you can take your squeegee and rub on the top to get it, make sure it's pressed down really good so you don't have any air bubbles. Um, the felt edged squeegee is nice for that. And you can turn it over and do it on the back side. Yes, but you can already see how mm -hmm. much better it's sticking because of the it tacket. Is. As the tacket dries, mm -hmm. it's sticking really, really good. Yes. Um, Lauren said, my husband does hydro dipping with films instead of paint. It's super mesmerizing. Oh, oh, yes. The films are so cool. I watch YouTube videos all the time. Isn't it funny how you can just sit and watch? But once you're patient, you guys, it stays on really good. And we are going to let these just kind of sit for a little bit longer so we make sure the edges of the vinyl is sealed really good because we don't want any seeping through so once it has sit for sat for a little bit and kind of cured to the canvas we're gonna hydro dip it after that and then we'll peel the stencil vinyl away which will be a really cool reveal it's gonna be an awesome reveal I'm super excited for that Yay. so what are some of the things y'all are doing while you're home Yes. During this time. And we want to remind everybody that all of our orders are shipping for free over $20. So if you need to get your hands on some vinyl or some product project materials, be sure to take advantage of that sale. Now, now is your time to do it. We don't know how long it will last. Our governor is letting us stay open, so we are staying open. So yes. thank you, Governor Hutchinson. Thank you, Governor Hutchinson. <laughs> we appreciate it. Yes, we get a lot of calls, you guys, asking us if we're still open and how are we still open. Well, it's state by state right now. Our governor has not closed non-essential businesses, so we are able to stay open as long as we're in gathering in groups less, less of 10. Mm -hmm. um, and we're a small business here, so we're really blessed yeah, we can stay <laughs> to open. be working. And this is the closest we usually are. Our yeah. <laughs> Shyla. <laughs> so you can, guys, you just can save these. You can tell they have a little bit of tacket on them, but I just stick them back on the roll. Yep, just stick it right back to the roll. And then you can use them again. So Look how cute. Why? Okay, so we've got our shell, our turtle, our seahorse, <laughs> and our palm trees. Yay, These are so, so pretty. And so I don't know if we said it in the beginning, but this is Aura Mask 813. So there's actually three different types of Aura Mask on the website. You get it based on the type of material that you're putting it on. Um, we actually have a display out front that I really love that I can't. I always go to it when someone calls and asks. I'm like, uh, let me go look let at Let me go display. look at the canvas. We don't know. <laughs> um, but so there's three different ones and you'd want to use them based on the finish of your product project. So if you are using with rough wood or smooth wood or painted wood or um, sanded smooth mm -hmm. edges, there's even, I think the white one's good for curved, curved materials. Yeah. So you guys can find all that information on the website. Um, so just get the Aura Mask stencil vinyl that makes the most sense to your project. Yes. Yep. And you will be so happy that you did. Yep. And also, while we're talking about our website, on every product, we have a green info button and a yes, red play button. And the green info will pull up cut settings. And if you're using heat transfer vinyl, it will pull up the temperature settings and how you need to peel it and everything. Mm -hmm. And if you click the video, it, the red play video, it'll bring up um, a YouTube, our YouTube video mm -hmm. on how to do it. So yes. if you're a visual learner, watch it. If you like to read, do it. I do both sometimes. So. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I like to read and watch mm -hmm. as well. Um, so if you've never hydro dipped before, you need a container of water. So Margie and I are going <laughs> to carefully move over our container of water. We just might spill, so y'all be prepared for something. Okay, we're going to try to just gonna get move this your stool. the right way the first time. All right. All right, you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Okay, water's in place. <laughs> and we didn't spill any, everyone, yay! yay! Give us some love. I really thought I would tump it all over on myself. So. <laughs> tump it? You thought you would tump it all I over? I would spill it everywhere. Okay, so they got a good overhead shot right now. Do we Is need to move it at all? Yep. Awesome. Okay, okay. so what you guys, when first? I first when I first um, 
when I first got started in hydro dipping, I was like, how in the world does this work? Like I was making it way more hard in my head than what it actually is. And I think that's why people don't do it is because they're like, oh my gosh, hydro dip. The word hydro dipping sounds so complicated. It sounds like it's a really high tech Yes, method. but it's not. So the cool thing is, is that you just need a container of water big enough for your project, which this one's perfect for our little eight by 10 canvases that we're using today. And what you do is you spray the spray paint into the water, um, kind of just in a, like in a circle. So you're going to let it spray in one area. So it's going to kind of accumulate in a okay. circle. And then you're going to go back with your second color inside that circle. Oh. And you just keep spraying it in a circle until you've got the colors that you want. And then you take like a stick or something and kind of swirl it through. So all those... Oh, All the colors swirl okay. together. That's awesome. And then you dip it, and then before you pull it up, you just want to kind of move the extra paint away from it so it comes up clean and it doesn't get any kind of gunk on it. So oh my goodness. I did forget we can swirl it with this. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll swirl just swirl it with, it with the end That'll of work. this. Hey, what color should we do? The seahorse first? Oh yeah, y'all let us know. What's your favorite? Seahorse, turtle, uh palm tree, or seashell? Oh my gosh, that was a tongue twister. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> And then Margie and I will pick the colors that we're going to use based on how, who comments first. Yeah. We'll do one that one we first. Do so first. Corbin, let us know what you see first. We have these awesome beachy colors, you guys. I know. Look at all these pretty um, spray paints We can that put we these have. in the front and just let them, let them choose. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. We can just display them here and then they can comment which one they want us to do first. Let us know. And then... I saw a turtle first. Oh, All right, we'll do the first. turtle. I love the turtle. Okay. okay. We're going to switch to the overhead. Yes. Okay. Okay, so turtle is first, so Margie. what spray paint, Shyla? So we are going to probably use... Oh, my gosh, this is so hard. I feel like the this teal. is a good turtle color. And yellow would go good with... What do you think? Yellow or coral? Uh, are we just doing two colors, or how many are we doing? I say we do this one and then add a little bit of this. Okay. Not too much, though. Just a tad bit. So yellow, that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we overhead? Yeah, you guys show them before you. Yes. Okay. So these are the colors that we're going to be using for our turtle. Yes. This is sun gloss yellow. Uh, lagoon. And, oh my, that's hard to read. Modern yeah. Mint. Modern Mint. All right. Modern mint. Okay. These so, are all rust -oleum. Yeah. So we're going to go with our dark color in the center first. And then, Margie, I'll let you spray the yellow in the I'm center. I'm excited. Okay. It's going to be loud, guys. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Oh, I hate taking those okay. lids off. Okay. So you're just going to spray directly into the water. And you kind of want to use a lot. So I think I'm going to use more than that. Okay. Okay. And then you can go in. <laughs> Margie. <laughs> Get the fumes out. What? Not so good. <laughs> y'all, did y'all see that water splash back on us? Okay. Is that good? Yep. That's probably good. Okay. And then we're going to go. I got yellow water. <laughs> Look how pretty, guys. Ew, it looks so cool already. Okay. And then. <laughs> <laughs> we need a fit. <laughs> Woo. I'm not the only one who did it. Oh, dear. Is it coming out, the paint? Yeah, it's coming out. <laughs> there one, we go. That one was low. Okay, now? Okay, so now that the fumes are gone. Okay, so you're just going to kind of swirl it. So the paint just sits on the top of the water. Yes, exactly. Y'all, I had no idea it was this easy. Yes, the paint sits on top of the water. And so, yes. So we're going to want to, hang on, let me get a paper towel real quick. So when you put it in, Margie, you're mm -hmm. going to kind of just I'm going to let you put it in. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm going to watch you. I'll do the you next one. You want to go at an angle, don't you? Yes. Okay. So when you hydro so dip, overhead. yeah, when you hydro dip, you're going to want to kind of like go at an angle and swoosh it through. Okay. Um, This one's actually not deep enough for us to go at a total angle. So we're, we're going to have to kind of dip and swoosh. But dip and swoosh. Dip and swoosh. Um, but Bend it'll still work. And pop. <laughs> Bend and snap. Bend and snap. That's it. Bend and snap. I wonder how many other people on was how like many? Bend and snap. <laughs> it just reminded me of pretty. Okay, guys. So we want to go face down because we want the paint to stick to the face of it. Okay. So I'm we gonna step back a little bit. <laughs> Marty, <laughs> are you worried it's gonna no, blow just up? Just so you have room to work. I don't want to. Okay. So we're gonna, gonna go work. in. And 
Max concentration. I and know. Then, Margie, I'm going to need you to kind of push the paint away from the center. Okay, how do I do that? So you're just going to swoosh it away. like Swoosh it away? Yeah, just kind of like kick it away. There you go. Perfect. All right. So you, so you want to clear people. your... Yeah. If you don't have an extra hand, you're going to want to have two people to get the paint kind of away. If you don't have four hands... <laughs> Sometimes you can slosh it too a little. Yeah. All right, guys. Ooh. How pretty is that? Oh, that's really pretty. Oh my gosh, when we pull the turtle off, it's going to okay, be so cute. Now, where do we need cute. to place this? Do we need to put some paper towels down? Yeah, just put a paper towel down so we can put it over there to dry. All right. Number one. Yeah. All right. So, our next color, I think we're going to want to do that coral. Yes. So will we just do the coral on top of yes. all this? Yeah. So you're just gonna now you're just gonna make a big coral circle. Okay. Because what we want sh it to should be we do next? Color. Did anyone comment on um, what they want next, Corbin? We got a lot of seashells. Okay, Ooh. let's do the seashell. Hey, Corbin, um, can you get those? Um, you know those sandwich-like gloves, those uh, lunch lady gloves. <laughs> all right. Just so I just do it in the middle again. Yep. Just do it in the middle. You don't have to swirl it or okay. anything. Um, kind of do a lot of that one. I want that one to be really bright. Do you know where they are? They oh, should be laying right there. Are they right not right there? there? Yep. Okay, I think that's, that's probably good. good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, you know, All right. Put them on you. Yeah. Should we do <laughs> some? Should we do some pink with the coral or yellow again or? I say yellow. Yellow. Why, why'd you ask me? You knew I was going to Shyla's favorite color is yellow, y'all. If you didn't know that, <laughs> if you ever want to buy her something, buy her something yellow. Yeah. Okay, so if you're just now joining us today, we are hydro dipping canvases, um, which is super fun. Uh, do a little bit more. The paint is so sticky on my finger, I can't get it in. Oh no. Do you want me to? I got it. You got it? Yeah, I just got okay. it. Okay, now do we need a swirl? Yes. Think that's enough? Did you get a pair? No. You just want me to dip you all You just of them? dip them all. Okay. Um, so <laughs> you did such a good job. I'll let you finish doing it. Okay, right. so we're Our doing swirly coral stick and what the yeah, so just right. kind of just swirl it through to give it a good you feel like a little give when you're swirling. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the paint gathers, you it guys. Does. So you can definitely feel it gathering, and you can see it collecting. Mm -hmm. Does it on feel the... like it's all collecting on the brush? It's okay. Okay, is that good? Yeah, that's good. Good. Okay. All right. So we are going to do a the seashell. seashell next, which is super cute. And like I said again, you're gonna kind of want to go at an angle. So I'm just gonna go down first and then in. So here we go. Who's ready? Go, Shyla. Go. Coral and yellow. I'm ready. All right, can you move the paint away? Move the paint away. <laughs> oh my gosh. So would this be easy with like a paint stick or something like that? Yeah. Or the, I mean, this is working fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter what Marissa you have. Marissa asked, will it work with 651 vinyl if we don't have stencil vinyl on hand? So Margie mentioned, Margie, just recap on yeah. what you said in the beginning. So what I said about 651, since it is a permanent vinyl, sometimes it does not want to release from, ooh, that one did really good. Look how pretty. It doesn't want to release from what you are putting it on. So um, you can use it. Um, I've used it in the past before I knew about the stencil vinyl. So, um, but you can definitely use it. You'll just want to... Like, for a canvas, I think it'll come off fine. But if you're doing, like, a wooden sign Look or something, pretty. you don't want to use it if you're doing a wood sign. Yes. Does that make sense? <laughs> did you just get paint on you? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. All right. I feel like we need to do some purple. Should we do some okay. purple with the seahorse? Ooh, purpley seahorse. Right. Okay. What color should we pair with, purple? With the purple, guys. Should what we do color? We haven't done pink. We have the turquoise. Yep, we do. The mint, turquoise, mint, pink, coral, pink, coral, and then we're gonna use the purple. Spray a lot of that because it's a light color. Okay. Hold your breath. Well, I guess don't, because then you won't <laughs> be able to breathe. <laughs> Hold your breath. 
hold your breath. No, don't. We it don't really want you to pass is out. best to do it in a ventilated area, guys. So we have really high ceilings here. We do. Oh. <laughs> Shiloh. Do you think that's enough purple? Yeah, that's enough purple. I feel like we should do a little of the pink, like this. What do you think? Did anybody comment a color? Anyone uh, comment? Somebody color? said pink, and then somebody said do dark pink and purple. Dark pink and purple. All okay. right. Well, we are on the same with. page. We're using the dark pink. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think, girls, another tip that we can say is that when we go to mix it, you don't want to mix it too much or yes. it'll get muddy. Yes. yes. It does. So, and also the clumping, Morphe, I'm going to get you a stick. So, because the clumping on the other, or Corbin, can you get a stick? What is it? Can you get one of these oh, uh, yes. sticks? Um, so, the clumping on the end of the brush, Mark, yes. are we overhead? Yes. Right. So, look at that. So, the clumping on the end of the brush really clumps up. And as you can see on this one, I don't know if I can pick this up and show them. On this one, you can see some of the clumping that gathered on it, mm -hmm. which, I mean, it in the end, it actually looks pretty cool once yeah. it dries. But if you're trying to get a smooth hydro dip where the colors just swirl together, you're not going to want any of that gathering of the paint to get clumpy on your canvas. All right. Should I just swirl now? Yep. Just swirl. And kind of just like not this? like overkill. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Christy said, so you can use the same water the whole time? Yeah, I mean, you typically, um, I've seen tumbler makers use the same water uh, through several tumblers. So, yes, you can. What do you um, think? Yeah. That's good. Mm -mm, okay. That's good. So, you can use... Um, you can use the same water, yes, um, mainly because the paint, that old paint actually gathers in the corners. I don't know can, if you guys can, can see Can y'all see that on the overhead? Yeah. So up until I'd say that your water is just so colorful and you don't have enough space in the center to get new colors, I would say you're good to probably use the Keep same water. Keep using it. Okay. All I right. I feel like I need new gloves Do we now. need to? Oh. Can see. you get me a new pair of gloves, Corbin? Yep. Thank you. And the water just keeps moving and spinning around. Yes, and just making the around. different colors. So it's really cool. It's really awesome. I'm excited. I'm here. <laughs> it's like we're on Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> She's performing surgery. So we are about to hydro dip our seahorse, and we chose pink and purple. So we're really excited to see how this turns out. This would be a cute grouping, like maybe in a bathroom, if you had a bathroom. Um, remember, we're doing free shipping on $20 orders. If you are new to my craft source, you want to try that out. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. We used Tacket to brush on the Aura Mask before we put it on the canvases to give it a little extra stick. So we're hoping sure that, that when we do really our big reveal that it will we'll have good moments. All right, guys, some technical difficulties, uh -oh. but we're still rolling with it. Okay. okay. So here is our cute little seat. That's the one we're doing next. Yep, right? seahorse. seahorse. Oh, it's going to look so cute. I know. Make sure all the edges are down good. Okay. And so, once again, we're going in at an angle at first, and then... And that's bam. just to kind of get the surface area as you go mm -hmm. at an angle. Yes. You don't ever want to plunge it straight through when you're hydro dipping. No. Like, even if you're doing a tumbler, you go at an angle, too? Yep. Can okay. you uh, get the paint away? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're fine. Jeff said, I normally just take something to move the excess paint out of the way uh, to the side before spraying in the new paint. Yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. And this kind of does it when we it pull does. it out. Ooh, Ooh look how cool ah, that looks, Look guys. how cute. It's so pretty. Ooh, I love that one. That, I didn't know that. It's so Sorry. amazing. Like, I love doing custom artwork. Okay, yeah. our last one. Our last one. What color, Shyla? Oh gosh, Have I we, don't know. Um, I'm just moving the, some of the paint out. Thank you, Jeff, for that tip. How about we do pink and let's do another pink one since we did. Should we do the light pink or the dark pink? Yeah, let's do the light pink. Just so we can use all the colors that we have. This color is very pink. Let's use, oh, let's use white pink and tea, no. Coral? Crud. I know where I'm going with this. Use purple and teal. Purple, purple and, teal? and teal. Yes. Okay. Purple not teal. pink. So I which should I do first, colors, teal or like, purple? Let's do more teal than purple. More teal. Okay. Carolyn asked, if I do it on a tumbler, do you have to apply the epoxy? 
Yes. So anytime that you put um, paint on a tumbler, you're definitely going to want to seal it with epoxy. Okay, we're overhead. So, Carolyn, you would do the paint first. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's enough? A little bit more. You would do the paint first, and then you would let it dry. Do they need to let it dry on a turner, or just let it dry? Um, the, if they're doing a tumbler. Okay. If they're doing a tumbler, sorry. If they're if you're doing a tumbler and you do a hydro dip on it, you can actually uh, epoxy after it dries. So you just let it dry for maybe an hour or two, and then you're good to epoxy. The paint won't move. How do you anything. think that is? A little bit more. Yeah, that's good. And okay. I just swirl it through. So you need a new it? stick. Well, there it is. Um, there was one more. Sorry, guys. I had to move out of the paint fumes. It's really strong. The fumes are strong in here. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. That's perfect. Ooh, look how pretty that it is. is. So pretty. Oh. All right, Stella. <laughs> the last this one is we do in that we're doing too. is our cute palm trees. Aw, our cute palm trees. All right. Are going to be purple and teal. She is going in at an angle. All right, going in at an angle, trying not to get any of this clumpiness on here. All right. You got it, child. One, two, three. Whoa. All right. Can move the paint, Marvin. All right. Just trying to make room for the... <laughs> so many steps of Shyla's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Margie, do this. Margie, do that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's All like right. being at home with your kids. It huh? is, Mom. All right, guys. That Ooh, that really one's cool. really interesting. I know. It's got a little pink in it. Some of the um, teal really gathered on it one of the really palm did. tree leaves. That's going to look really cool. All right. All right, guys. All right. So we've got them all. How long do we have to let them dry? Um, I would say maybe, I don't know. Can we fan them to make them dry faster yeah. for our reveal? We could probably reveal one and then do the one like live and then do the other ones in the comments. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, should we move this yes, or? Yes, we should move this down to the floor. So we can spill it on the floor. <laughs> no. Please be careful. We do not want to spill. So how do you dispose of this? <laughs> the paint <laughs> water. No, I'm serious. What do, you, what do you do to dispose of your paint water? I would just dump it in my grass outside. <laughs> dump it in your grass. But I'm also redneck, and I live out in the sticks. I was going to say, I And don't I'm not think, trying to keep my lawn pretty. I don't think my husband would appreciate me dumping it in the grass. <laughs> That's why I, when you asked, I'm like, um, maybe. You know, you might could dump it on, like, if you're feeling creative, dump it on, like, your concrete driveway, and it might would look cool. It actually might look cool. <laughs> um, Jim would not <laughs> like that. <laughs> Jim said, it. if Jim is watching this, he's like, no, Margie, do not dump it if on If you want to hydro dip your driveway, be pretty cool to dump that it down your driveway. That would be really cool to dump it down my driveway. Eventually, Maybe my back patio. I could dump it on my back patio. I'll dump it over my back fence. <laughs> Dump it into the neighbor's backyard. I'll dump it into the neighbor's backyard. Okay, so um, anyways, <laughs> to dispose of the water, honestly, like I would just find a wooded area outside mm -hmm. or maybe, you know, like an area that doesn't matter and just kind of dump it somewhere. I mean. Okay. No, oh, that's good yeah. to know. I was just curious because maybe I'll just do it here at work. So <laughs> I'm just kidding. Maybe she'll just bring it to my craft source and dump it out. <laughs> do not bring your paint to my craft source. <laughs> Maybe it would clean the pol our front sidewalk is covered in pollen. Like pollen is high in Arkansas right now. So it is so high. The so we did what should we do first? The Look at my turtle? hands, guys. I know. Wear gloves first. Wear gloves. My manicure is kind of messed up. I'm now I see why you made me dip everything. Your nails <laughs> are all nice and pretty. Well, you had already dipped one without the gloves. So yeah, I, I did. just decided to let you keep dipping. Okay, so how many people hung in with us? We've got 115. All oh right, my guys. gosh, y'all are awesome. Thanks so, for sticking with us. Yes, so let's go ahead and slide these over so they Ooh, can actually Candace be looking had a good up. tip. She said use a strainer to pour the water into your toilet and dump the paint back in the, into the trash can. Oh, oh that's okay, a good Candace, idea. you are so smart. That's a brilliant idea. Yes. That is so smart. Okay, so while we're waiting on these to dry, we might have some new people on if we want to go over our sale. Yeah. Um, so our sale is $20 or more. 20, Free orders, shipping. Orders on um, $20. <laughs> the paint fumes are getting to her back here. Okay. <laughs> 
I might be a little cuckoo right now. I was about to right say now. breathe, but don't breathe. Okay, so the <laughs> Corbin's dying too. Okay, so tradition. Hang on, guys. Let me get the mask. Let me just show you guys what you should be. Using. What you should be, but we can't talk or breathe with this mask on. No, so you wouldn't be able to hear no. us. So this is the kind of stuff that we do for you guys, so you can see. This is a respiratory mask. This is what you use <laughs> when you're working with epoxy or spray paint or anything with gassy fumes in your house that you're going to be breathing into your lungs. Um, please, please wear one of these. Very important. Um, and so, aside from that, we are shipping all orders over twenty dollars free. Free. Which is crazy until further notice. It used to be seventy five dollars. Yes, orders, so generally so. our shipping threshold is on orders over seventy five dollars or more, and so you're getting an amazing deal when you purchase items with us right yeah. now. And if your order crazy. is placed before two p.m., we ship it out same day. Yes, and then they're guaranteed to go out same day, and then sometimes we will get a second load to the post office around five. Absolutely. So. And so another awesome thing is that you. Um, can find all of our products on our website at amazing prices. Yes. So not only are you getting a good deal on your vinyl and your crafting materials, but you're also saving money on shipping. So log, if you haven't created a profile, create a profile and log on because your price, you'll get even better prices once you yes. have made an so account true. with These us. These are adorable. So I think they're so cool. Do you think we can peel them yet or is it too early? I'm one of those impatient ones that doesn't want to wait. So I feel like I don't feel like it would move anywhere. Like if we yeah. peel it off, the paint's not going to go anywhere. So I feel like we can go ahead and do All it. All right, you want the see what happens? Do overhead, you guys yeah, can yeah. Oh, we need to turn it. Go. Yeah, I'll do seashell. You can do. Palm and tree. just so y'all know, the canvases are pretty wet from being in the water, so you will want to let them dry. Dry. Yes. Good point. Mark. Um. Just so the you turtle, know. I feel like, looks really wet for some It reason. does, but I think it's just the water on them. So. All right, so as you can see, it's super easy to get underneath the aura mask. And we are going to pull away Ooh. our stencil vinyl to reveal this is so our cute little... I'm trying to find a good place to drop it. Yeah, I had to find a place over here. Um, one thing that I think would work well is once it's dry, you could take a Sharpie if you wanted to, to just go along and outline it if you wanted. But like, I love that it like looks this. really good. I there was a like little this. seepage <clears throat> with the seahorse. I still feel like you can I tell what it like is. But I feel like you though. can tell. Yeah, just like the pointy edges. Yeah. So this is the last one we did. Let's get the turtle closer so okay. you can do the turtle. How cute are these? Ugh. Uh, oh. I love these. All right, get the turtle in the camera. Okay. I love the seashell colors. It's so, it's pretty. so pretty. The coral with the hint of turquoise. Yes, so pretty. And the yellow, it turned out amazing. All right, guys. Oh, look at the sea turtle, guys. Aww. Look at that. I'm going to bring it up closer. How cute. Doesn't that look awesome? I love the I sea love turtle. I love it. Lots of hearts, guys. All Aww. right. All right, the last one to do is our palm tree. Our palm tree got a lot of paint. It did. Oh, but look. It was too wet. It was pretty <laughs> wet. Oh, well. It's it was okay. too wet. It was still wet. That's our impatience. You going to try to dab it? I'm just going to dab it with. Oh, see, that works pretty good. It's a paper towel. It was the last one we did. Yes, so this one definitely should have dried longer. Yeah. But you guys, look how cute. Oh my gosh. Are you front faced? Mm -hmm. right now. Look at this. I'm obsessed with the turtle. Ah. It's a little overexposed, so you might have to come in. Come front in of closer. Table. Yep. Okay. They're gonna see my gross hands, but whatever. <laughs> Shire. Well, they're super. Well, painty. they all just watch you dip them in paint. Look how cute. All right, I think you need to hold. Still the, struggling. Maybe you need to go back to the, the overhead. overhead. Aww. Okay. Here you go, guys. How about that? Perfect. That's good. Oh. Isn't it pretty? Oh. It's overhead. Mm -hmm. All Look right. How cute. What do y'all think? Which one's your favorite? Oh my gosh, I think. 
My seashell is definitely my favorite. I mean, the, is so the colors pretty. of the seashell just really pop well together. Yes. The do. coral and the yellow. I didn't think they would look that good together, but it looks really amazing. So Very cute. Guys, this is a super fun idea, and you really only need two different colors of spray paint. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but if you're a crafter, you probably have at least two colors of spray paint at your house. I know. And uh, these canvases, Margie, tell them wh where you got these. It again. was I got them at Walmart, and I think it was a 12 pack or a 10 pack of eight by tens for 12 or 13 dollars. Yeah, so it was not bad. So really about a dollar a piece for these canvases, and the Aura Mask 813 that we use today starts at 78 cents for a 12 by 12. So, you guys, you're in this for a little or nothing. Yeah, it does not cost much to do it. This would be a fun one to do with your kids. Yes. You could have them pick out the shapes that you wanted mm. to use. We just found shapes on Google and yes. traced them in silhouette and cut them. So, yes, we it did. was super easy. Sorry, I'm just going to hold these up. So, that. yeah, the seahorse is still pretty wet. Let's see if we can hold them. And up. the backs of the canvases are even pretty. Yes, <laughs> they are. The backs of the canvases are pretty too. But look how cute, guys. Yeah. You guys definitely should try this. If you're not connected with us on Instagram, please go follow us on Instagram. Yes. We post a lot of fun, kind of behind-the-scenes yeah. stuff on, on Instagram. On our stories. Yes, so we do. Oh, don't check forget about Tackett over and over, 515. <laughs> that was the most random thing ever. I just saw it, and you didn't mention it when you talked about what they needed to okay, buy. Okay, so you guys just be sure to um, continue to craft through the crisis. Yes. Um, we will be back here again this week we will. doing another fun craft with you. So stay tuned and don't miss it. And we will love to see you guys. I be know. sure to follow your state officials and the CDC guidelines yes. based on your state to stay safe during the COVID-19 that we're dealing with. Um, we are just kind of making the best of it here at My Craft are. Source. And we're definitely following our state's regulations on what's safest for us right now. And we hope that you guys take advantage of our free shipping over yeah. $20. Order, and thank you for joining us today. Yes, and supporting My Craft Source yes. because we could not say it enough, you guys. Like, without you guys, we would not be able to work. <laughs> yeah, so, so thank you. thank you so much for ordering and keeping our doors open yes. and us busy because we really appreciate we it. Do. And all the love and support that we get on Facebook means a lot. Yes. So thank you guys so much. Y'all are the best. We love y'all. We love you and we'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.